I'm Emily. I'm one of the nature interpreters at the Gorge Waterway Nature House. Welcome to our video series featuring native plant species within the Esquimalt Gorge Park. We will be providing identification information, fun facts, and traditional uses of a new plant species each week. This week we'll be talking about the Nootka Rose. The Gorge Waterway Action Society acknowledges and respects the Lekundin speaking peoples whose traditional unceded territory we work on, and the Songhees, Esquimalt, Sanic, and other First Nations peoples whose historical relations to the land continue to this day. Nitka Rose is a member of the Rose family that is native to Western North America. It has paired leaves which are oval shaped and have toothed edges. It also has thorny stems and pink flowers with five petals. The Nootka Rose can be difficult to distinguish from the clustered wild rose, as both have pink flowers. The major difference is that the Nootka Rose leaves have a rounder tip, they have larger flowers, and most commonly only have one flower at the end of each branch. Once pollinated, their flowers develop into hips, the fruit that encloses the seeds, which can grow up to one inch and are purplish red in color. Their blooming period is from May to July, and the fruit ripens and can persist into the winter. Rose gets its name from Nootka Sound, a waterway on the west coast of Vancouver Island that was named after the First Nations peoples that lived there. First Nations commonly make teas and syrups from the hips of the Nootka Rose. The hips have a very high level of vitamin C, A, and E, which helps ward sickness away, especially things like staph infections that are often resistant to other antibiotics and scurvy. The hips are best harvested after the first couple frosts of the season when they're at their sweetest. As well, the petals, leaves, and inner bark could often be made into a tonic. The roots can also be steamed and used alongside western red cedar roots to make fishing nets. It's now common to find both the petals and hips from the Nootka Rose used in jams and jellies. Nootka Rose usually grows in open areas including riparian habitats. It can be spread through root suckers and often grows in dense patches. Since it can spread quickly, Nootka Rose is often used to stabilize stream banks and prevent erosion. Nootka Rose can be found in the Esquimalt Gorge Park around most of the creek bank, so look out for its bright pink flowers this spring. So thank you for watching and learning all about the Nootka Rose today. Tune in next week to find out what native plant species we'll be talking about next.